everybody what's up it's cc welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome and definitely hit that red subscribe button as well as the bell that way you are notified of all future uploads for me and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back so today's video is going to be another empties you guys i have gone through so many products like I don't know what it is, but like this house just goes through products like crazy. If you're not familiar with my empties videos, basically what I do is anytime I use up a product, whether it's household product or beauty product, I will save the empty and I review it and let you guys know if this is something that I would repurchase or something that I definitely wouldn't repurchase. I actually love filming these types of videos because I love saving you guys money so if there's something out there that I don't like or that isn't a good product I definitely want to let you guys know about it so that you don't waste your money going out and buying it so I'm gonna stop rambling and we're just gonna go ahead and get into it because I have a lot of empties so the first two things I have are laundry products the first one is this LA's totally awesome laundry pre-wash stain remover we got this from our local Dollar Tree and I really, really love this. This would definitely be a repurchase for me. Um, definitely if you want to get out like food stains or blood stains, this is absolutely awesome. You just spray this on your clothes before you put them in the wash. We do it like right before. So it really helps to break up the stains and then when you put it in the wash, it actually gets everything out. So I would definitely recommend this one. The next thing that I have is um, a purchase that I actually made because of my husband because my husband has really, really sensitive skin. So any laundry detergent that has like a lot of perfumes and dyes and stuff will break him out and he can't use it. So we got this Purex Mountain Breeze Dirt Lift Action laundry detergent i was actually surprised with it having the mountain breeze scent that he could actually use it and it didn't break him out usually we have to get like the pure and free the organic one but this one was really good and i had no complaints with it i liked it and it goes with my husband's skin so i'll definitely be repurchasing more purex The next thing that I have in here is a Suave Coconut Oil Infusion Shampoo. I actually got sent this in an Influencer Vox box like a while ago and I absolutely love this. My husband actually used it as well on his hair and he really liked it too. So I would definitely repurchase it and it's pretty affordable. I mean Suave is usually definitely under five bucks for shampoo and conditioner. You can get this from any drugstore. You can get it from Walmart, Target. So definitely recommend that. The next thing that I all went through is this Assured Cotton Rounds. You can get these from the Dollar Tree. I like these, but then again, I didn't. These are the smaller ones. I like the ones that are bigger because I feel like they just cover your face a lot better when you go in with your toner and definitely when you go in and remove your makeup. I feel like with this... um. I do use the, um, I use a cleansing oil just to take off my eye makeup and then I'll go in with like a makeup wipe just to take off my face makeup and I felt like even with my eye makeup and my lipstick taking it off with these, I'd use like three or four where I only had to use like one or two with the bigger ones. So I mean these are good. Me personally, I just prefer the bigger ones. The next thing that I went through is this set of two loofahs, Dabney Lee, and these I purchased from Marshalls for $3.99, so to get two loofahs for $4, basically two a piece, I thought that was a really good deal. I love these, you guys. Like, this is probably the best loofahs that I have purchased in my life. I mean, they're really big. They're maybe about this big, so about medium size, and I didn't have any issues with them unraveling or anything because that's the biggest issue that I have with loofahs. Like, usually once I've had them for, like, two weeks, they start unraveling. These didn't unravel. They um, don't soak up a lot, a lot of product, so you still get a lot of foam in there, and I just loved it. So I'm definitely going to be on the lookout for those in my local Marshalls to go ahead and stock up on more of them. Alright, the next thing that I have in here is this palm, 
can't talk. This Palm Olive Original Dishwashing Detergent, um, a dishwashing liquid. I really like this. I mean, honestly, with dishwashing liquid, Maurice and I really aren't that picky. It's pretty much whatever we can catch on sale. And this is always like 99 cents to a little bit over a dollar. So no complaints about that. We actually repurchased that already. The next thing that I have in here are these Cream Shop Clarifying Peppermint Cocoa Sheet Masks. I got this pack of five from TJ Maxx on clearance for $4.50. You guys, these right here. Whew, thank you to the makeup gods for coming down and blessing us with this because literally... This is so good. It's infused with peppermint oil and it's really good for acne prone skin. And I will tell you like if you have a fresh pimple or if you're just prone to breakouts like I am, you're going to put this on your face for about 15 to 20 minutes. And when you take it off, you will literally see all of the acne starting to dry up after the first treatment. So I absolutely love these. I definitely have these in stock in my house. Anytime I see these and TJ Maxx, I get all of them that they have because they are so, so amazing. And I'm pretty sure you can find this online as well. Is a candle. This is a Bath and Body Works A Thousand Wishes that I got in their semi-annual sale back in January. I burnt this shank until I could not burn it no more. I love the Thousand Wishes. However, this is the first time that I purchased the One Wick Candle. I was not a fan of the One Wick Candle. Moving forward, I'm only going to get the Three Wick. I don't know what it is, but like this just got so messy. You see all like the burn marks and stuff in here. And then um, anytime I would light it and blow it out and go to light it again, the wick would just be everywhere. And it just got really messy. So I really wasn't a fan of this one. I love this scent, but I would definitely get it in the three wick moving forward. More laundry detergent. <laughs> this one is the um, Purex Natural Elements one, which we really like that one as well. No complaints about that. I went through this Wrinkle Care Snail Mask. This is by IPKN New York. This was also a purchase from Marshalls. I don't know what I was thinking about getting a snail mask. It was just something I never saw before and I wanted to try it. It's supposed to be really good for anti-aging and when I put it on, it smelled horrible. It didn't do anything for my skin. It was just awful. So I would not recommend my worst enemy to try that because it was just awful. Next thing that I went through is this Degree Dry Protection Shower Clean. You guys know I have talked about this in pretty much every empties video I've had. These are awesome. I've been using Degree since probably middle school. I absolutely love it. It. so the next thing that I have is a sample of the Bath and Body Works warm vanilla sugar body wash oh my gosh you guys this right here is like a freaking staple like I have to have this I absolutely love it I know winter um I know like in the fall and winter months like vanilla is considered more of like a fall and winter fragrance but honestly I would use this anytime during the year not just in the fall and winter months because it smells so so good you guys. I absolutely love this. The next thing I all used up, um, I just recently did a haul on this, so obviously I've repurchased it. It is the Body Shop Lip Butter and Mango. They actually changed the packaging, so now the top is like black, but still the same thing. Um, I completely used it until I could not use it anymore. I repurchased it. I absolutely love this. This is just a really good lip balm i mean it's just going to hydrate and moisturize the lips and i like that it actually lasts a couple hours too um so it's not one of those like lip balms that you put on and then 20 minutes later your lips are dried actually helps keep your lips hydrated whether you're just gonna wear this by itself or if you're going to go over it with lipstick love this the next thing that I went through is this Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub and Coconut Lime. I was trying to remember what the name of this was because I just recently got the Body Shops. Um, this is, well, this is their body butter. I think my um, scrub is actually in the bathroom, but 
I want to do a comparison video actually comparing. Um, I actually have a couple of things that I want to compare so I'm not sure if that's something that you guys want to see like you know kind of like do comparison kind of videos. If you do definitely let me know and I will save this for that. But this was good. Um, I actually just recently purchased the body shop one and I actually prefer that a little bit better but this one was good I mean I would repurchase that the next thing that I went through that all of the writing has rubbed off so you probably can't even tell what this is but this is the Modus Cosmetics waterproof lustrify mascara in the shade blackout super long name but I really do love this mascara this is the brush so a pretty just standard um mascara one this is really really good for top and bottom lashes it doesn't transfer um there's actually still a good amount of product in here so it definitely won't dry out on you of course you guys know i'm ocd when it comes to makeup so i always throw my makeup out at that expiration date even if there's still more product left but yeah if you guys want to purchase this if you guys didn't know i am a business owner with Modus Cosmetics so if you want to purchase this just let me know and I can definitely get you some money off. Speaking of Modus Cosmetics another product that I recently went through is the Modus Complexion Perfection Face Primer. It looks like that. This is so so good you guys. This is a four ounce container and this can be a little pricey for a primer however I have had this primer since I started my Modus business in October. So November, December, January, February, March, April. So almost six months to use this. So, I mean, it's definitely worth um, the money, in my opinion, because it's going to last you for so long. You only need a little bit. It's kind of like a silicone filling primer. So it's really good with just smoothing out any pores, any texture issues, and just giving your face a nice clean canvas to go over with foundation. So I really, really love this and I would definitely recommend that. I went through another, this is the same mascara I was just in my freelance kit. So I went through that. I went through a Clinique Pep Start Hydro Blur Moisturizer. I got this in a Sephora Play, I want to say it was last, it was like two Sephora Play boxes ago. Girl, absolutely love, love, love this. I may hold off on purchasing it only because I know Motives has a skincare line as well called Luminaire. Um, there's Luminaire, there's Timeless, there's um, three or four different um, skincare lines that Motives has so I definitely want to look into some of those lines first before I buy you know outside skincare but honestly I love this moisturizer I was really really impressed with it it actually hydrates the skin but it also makes it a little bit matte too so if you have oily skin it's really really great for like normal to oily skin dry skin I don't know because I mean it is kind of a matte so I wouldn't really recommend it for dry skin but definitely like normal normal combination or purely oily this is really really good the next thing that I all used up is this Lysol clean and fresh toilet bowl cleaner which Maurice and I absolutely love this stuff. Um, well, I love it because <laughs> I do more of the cleaning. But um, this was really, really good. I think this was like in Dollar Tree. So I was like really surprised that Dollar Tree actually had Lysol in there. But it's bomb. I love it. So yeah, I would definitely repurchase that. The next thing that I went through is another Bath & Body Works body wash. This is the A Thousand Wishes, which you guys know, A Thousand Wishes is my jam, okay? I absolutely love A Thousand Wishes. I love their soap. I love their body wash. I love everything A Thousand Wishes. This is actually um, in my bathroom right now, so I definitely would repurchase it. absolutely love it. I went through this Acne Wipes from the Dollar Tree. I actually want to compare this to the Motives ones as well. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to add that to my little comparison video. But this is really, really good. I mean, especially for you to get 30 wipes for a freaking dollar is an amazing deal. I absolutely love these wipes. I would definitely repurchase. The next thing I have in here is this Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara. 
which was a good mascara. <sighs> okay, so let me just tell you the deal about this mascara. Like, this mascara is good, but for my lashes, I have to mix mascaras usually because I have lashes that actually like go downward. And even if I curl them or I use a primer, I still go in with my mascara and I have a couple little ones that are peeking downward. So this was really good for separating my lashes and keeping them from falling downward. But as far as length wise, it didn't really do a whole lot as far as making my lashes, you know, look longer. So I would say if you're going to use this, definitely use it in conjunction with a mascara that makes your lashes long because I mean, it could have just been me, but for me, they just didn't really do anything as far as length. Is. The next thing that I went through is the Studio 35 Beauty Nail Polish Remover. Um, nothing really special about this. As you guys know, I do wear acrylic nails. Um, and pretty much I didn't like one of the sets that I got. So I ended up taking the polish off and then redoing them myself. But yeah, I mean, it was okay. Nothing special about it. The next thing I have in here, I got in a Sephora Play. This is the Clinique Black Honey Lipstick. I think that's what it's called. So it's basically a tinted lip balm. And this is what I hate about any type of lip product that comes in a twist off. As you guys can see, it looks like I used it down to the bottom. I didn't. I only used this twice. The second time I used it, I went to swipe and the whole thing just broke in half. Um, so that's why any type of lip product, I prefer it to come in a tub like this versus like a twist off because they always break on me. But using it, I mean, it was okay. It had a little bit of like a dark cherry kind of tint to it. So... You know, it was okay. I mean, it wasn't anything that I would repurchase again, but it was okay. I went through this Crest 3D White Radiant Mint Toothpaste, which was okay. Um, It didn't really do anything as far as whitening my teeth or anything. It was just okay. And then I went through this Colgate Optic White Toothpaste. Same thing. It's supposed to give you whiter teeth in a week. I definitely didn't see it do anything. So, I mean, I would repurchase it again if it was like, you know, on sale or I just needed some toothpaste. But it didn't really live up to the claim for me. So, this next product, again, same thing. This is the Bite Beauty Amuche. Bite Beauty Amuse lipstick in the color Kamichi. Super pretty color, but again, like, if, even if I were to go to swatch this, it's, like, about to break apart. You know, super pretty color, but I just can't do lipsticks that, like, freaking break apart on me. So that's the only reason I'm getting rid of it. And the next thing that I have is another body wash from Bath & Body Works. It's the Paris Amour, which smells really good. I would definitely repurchase that again. And then a couple of brow products that I went through. Okay, so I went through another Maybelline Brow Precise brow pencil which I absolutely love that's what I'm using on my brows right now and I love it definitely no complaints about that one and I went through the Maybelline brow drama sculpting brow mascara okay I went back and forth about repurchasing this because when I first got it I loved it but then after I used it a couple of times this actually made my brows dry to the point where when I went to take my brows off at night I had to literally like scrub to get it off so I feel like with this this is something that you want to use if you're gonna be like on vacation somewhere where it's really hot you're gonna be outside you know like where you really don't want your brows to come off but just like on an everyday I wouldn't use it so this would definitely be something that if I were to repurchase it it would definitely be like special occasion and the next couple products that I have I'm so sad that these are in my empties but 
they're expired so I have to get rid of them and these are the NYX liquid suede liquid lipsticks and I have mine in the shade vintage which is a super pretty dark vampy brown color and then I have Sway, which is this really nice purple color. And then I had Orange County. Orange County, I did not like. This was very patchy on the lips. And I don't know what it is about orange lipsticks. There's one orange lipstick that I have from MAC that is not patchy. But every other orange lipstick that I have is always patchy. And I even tried to use this as like how people are using the liquid um, lipsticks as eyeliner. And even as eyeliner, it didn't go on smooth. So if I were to repurchase it, I would definitely get these two shades right here and skip out on the orange one. And last but not least, I have a perfume in here, Prada Candy. This actually came in last month's Sephora Play in OMG, you guys. This is already in my cart in Scent Bird because... Oh my god, it smells so freaking good. And I I just, I love it. I mean, it's such a sweet scent. And again, I'm the type of person, I don't really get into like what's in season and what's on trend. Like if I like something, I'm just going to buy it. So I would definitely recommend getting a sample of this or going to Scentbird because with Scentbird, you can get not a full size, but a pretty good sample size for like 16 bucks versus going to Ulta or Sephora. This is going to run you like anywhere from 75 to 90 over a hundred dollars. So definitely excited about getting that. So yeah, you guys, that is everything in my empties. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see that comparison video, definitely let me know in the comment section below and I can get that up for you guys. So yeah, that's it for this video. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and I will talk to you guys very soon on my next one. Bye guys.